So this is Solar Upgrade 2024 Part 1. So if you like, this is the explanation as to why I'm doing an upgrade um, prior to the upgrade happening. Uh, so just to talk people through my existing system. So I have three GrowWatt SBF 5000 ES hybrid off-grid inverters and I have four Enuruit 9 kilowatt hour lithium ion phosphate batteries and they are CATL cells, cattle cells, uh, which are excellent. Um, so this is my new system, I say new, it's a few years old now. Um, <clears throat> and this is my original system, which is about six years old. So this old inverter uh, was my original system and it was coupled to these 16 deep cycle, deep cycle gel batteries, they're lead acid batteries. And uh, so when I installed the new system, <clears throat> this basically, my old system, because you can't mix um, lithium ion phosphate and deep cycle gel batteries together. Um, so what I did is I had my old system as a stand alone system. Um, uh, we shuffled around the solar panels, etc. Um, and uh, this one was paired with seven 535 watt panels and uh, another one of the inverters was also paired with 535 watt panels, seven of them. So there's two strings of seven panels on my third floor. Um, and people may be saying, why did I only have seven? Well, at the time, I didn't need any more power in the middle of the day. I was going for off-grid and the sun comes from over there in the morning in the east. And that's why I have panels directly above me here on the east side. Uh, and I have panels over the west. I even have some panels on the north side as well. Um, so I was really trying to maximize the amount of time that the house was running on solar and minimize the time that it was running on batteries. So uh, I have this uh, transfer switch and that originally allowed me to transfer between my old inverter system and uh, my grid connection. But since I've, uh, since I've got a EV with vehicle to load, um, I've unplugged from the grid. So this is completely disconnected from my system. Um, and this is, uh, the, the, the car is equivalent to six Tesla Powerwalls. Um, so uh, it's a much better backup system than uh, uh, a bunch of six-year-old lead acid batteries. <clears throat> so this is really quite redundant now. Um, so what I've decided to do is I'm actually going to gift this inverter to a mate of mine to get his solar system started. It's a 96 volt uh, inverter. So you see I have uh, two strings of uh, eight, 12 volt batteries. So, I mean, he could build his own system up using lithium ion phosphate batteries. So what is the plan? Well, on this wall used to be a whole bunch of tools and you can see hooks and holes and things and that's all been removed. And there was a shelf up there as well. That's all gone. This box, which has got my pump, and the box is a bit oversized really, so we're going to take the box off the wall, um, and uh, the, the pump controller will, will just be put up on its own. And the idea is that there will be a string of three inverters here, and the fourth one will go there. So as I said before, this, uh, old inverter is connected to seven panels, about uh, 
3.7 kilowatts and uh, this one as well 3.7 kilowatts on the on the third floor of my property um, but now I have two EVs my charging requirements are somewhat higher previously I was in a situation where once the, the house batteries were charged I charged my EV and once that was charged I ended up with excess power in the middle of the day that was being curtailed so what we are going to do uh, now I have my second EV and my my peak load is much higher is to add this fourth inverter that then gives me access to 20 kilowatts of power assuming I've got the solar to go with it I'm going to increase the string for this which will now be my fourth grow watt and this one on on the roof of my third floor they're going up to, to nine panels I'm adding uh, two 550 watts they're longy panels uh, uh, tier one panels so that gives me uh, a lot more power in the middle of the day which I originally thought I wouldn't need but having two EVs um, I do have quite a high peak load so anyway that is the plan this is the grow what inverter waiting to go on the wall and I have purchased the four panels um, and they're in my porch waiting to go on the third floor uh, so this is one of the things when you're buying a solar system if you can afford it uh, you know spec it out uh, to include future load needs because uh, it can be a bit difficult um, to, to find equipment to match obviously I ordered my solar panels to match in the same string um, they're not 100% but the voltage is the same they're both longies I'm going you know 7535 watt panels and uh, two 550s the 535 is not available anymore but one interesting thing is I paid uh, 36,000 baht for these inverters and I imported them from China a few years ago uh, when they first came out and now I'm able to buy them locally here in Thailand for 23,000 baht so it's nice to see that stuff is going down in price but the thing with inverters if you want to parallel them together it's uh, well makes life a lot easier if they are the same brand and the, you know the same model so so that's the reason for doing this um, upgrade and I'll produce uh, a video number two once uh, this upgrade is finished